Word clouds offer an easy way to analyze text and word frequency. In this video, you'll see how to create a word cloud and tips on using word clouds. Things to keep in mind when you're using word clouds include data should contain at least 100 rows to create an effective word cloud. Word clouds can be a low cost way to analyze data from surveys. Be aware that the length of a word can affect visual decoding or interpretation relative to other words. Color is used primarily for aesthetics, but can be used for other variables, sentiment for example. The Samples Boston 311 Call Data Module is going to be used in this video. I'm interested in understanding what reasons people are giving for calling 311. I'm going to use a word cloud, which is a visual representation of word frequency. The more a term is used, the larger it appears. Dropping the word cloud visualization on the canvas, request reason goes in words, and I use the count for the size. The default layout is horizontal and vertical. I can change that by selecting properties. And I'm going to use horizontal because I just find that easier to read. You can see street cleaning is the most common call reason. I can also drop request reason in the color slot. I find this makes the words stand out better. This concludes the video on how you can show text data in a visualization. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.